the 19th century chemist Humphrey Davy represented the results of his early experiments in his essay on heat and light, comma, a critique of all chemistry since Robert Boyle as well as a vision of new chemistry that Davy hoped to found. Now, if you see a critique, a vision, perfectly parallel, so parallelism is fine. A critique, his envisioning of a. Now, people might say that a critique and his envisioning, these are not parallel, but that is not correct. These are actually parallel. This is also a noun, this is also a noun. Okay. My doing something. Okay. This is a noun, this is a gerund. Okay. So, in terms of parallelism, this is fine. A critique and envisioning. Okay. So, this is not parallel, right? Envisioning is ing form of verb. A critique is an action okay, or a noun, I would say. So, this is out. Critiquing and a vision of. So, critiquing is ing form of verb and a vision is a noun. So, not parallel. Same here, critiquing and his own envisioning. So, if we have already seen this is a noun. So, critiquing is not a noun. This is out. We're left with option A and B. Now, how do we remove the wrong one here? as well as a vision of and also his envisioning of. Okay. Now, if you see this is more wordy option B, if we have to write something, this is a better way of writing, it is a crisp way of writing. Okay. Since Robert Boyle following Robert Boyle, following Robert Boyle gives us a meaning that chemistry is following Robert Boyle, no. So, B is out, it is not very difficult to remove B is the right 